Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen metro and state awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Monday, September 22nd, 2008. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, if the presidential election was today, who would you choose, Republican John McCain or Democrat Barack Obama? LMTV's Jen joins us with the LMT political correspondent, Zach Bohannon, with the latest edition of Pollsters, guys. Thanks, Zoe. Zach, you started asking teachers last week on their thoughts about the election. What have you found out? The teachers at Lenmar have spoken. Although this poem may not be a very accurate reading of the general public, because teachers tend to be more liberal <clears throat> to begin with, it's still very interesting to see how the teachers are voting. Now for the results. Drum roll, please. Barack Obama has easily won over the votes of Lenmar teachers, winning 36 to McCain's 7. Of the teachers who took part in this polling, 11 teachers are still undecided. One per person, obviously a Democrat, states, God help us if a Republican wins. Another voter says that there's too much lying and misinterpreting going on. Everyone please watch the debates. An undecided social studies teacher says that it took many others than just the Republicans to get us in this mess. <laughs> and what else has this straw poll told us? The most important issue or concern that teachers are paying the most attention to is the economy. The other issues that the teachers are concerned with is the war on Iraq, health care, and ironically, education. Thank you to all 54 staff members who took part in this polling. On the national stage, the latest Gallup polls on the internet have Obama leading 49 to McCain's 45%. The first national debate between the two candidates will be this Friday night, and it should be interesting to hear the actual plans that each candidate will have for each issue. LMTV's special edition on politics will take an in-depth look at the debates next Monday. Hey, thanks very much, Zach. We'll get another pollster update next Monday. Zoe, back to you. Thanks, guys. Anyone planning to order a class ring, listen up. Justin's will be here tomorrow night from 5 to 7 in the main foyer. They will also be here Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday during lunch. Extra ring packets are available in the main office. This is the last day to turn in your homecoming parade entry application to Mr. Schumacher. Forms are available in the main office. If you plan to bring a date to the homecoming dance that does not attend Linmar, the sign-up sheet is now available in the main office. Remember, no one from middle school or over 20 is allowed. Now, Corbin takes a look at sports. Thanks, Zoe. On the scoreboard, girls swimming at Marshalltown, Linmar tied for first out of seven teams. Girls volleyball at Kennedy, Linmar placed fourth out of five teams. Tonight in Linmar Sports, ninth grade football will play at Washington at 5 p.m. JV football will host Washington at 7 p.m. Ninth grade volleyball will play at Kennedy. Varsity girls swimming will play at the Prairie slash Williamsburg Invitational, team dismissed at 2.50. Varsity boys golf will play at the Tri Meet at Irv Washington Golf Course, hosted by Waterloo West, team dismissed at 1.15. In other sports news, Powderpuff girls and coaches, there will be an important me meeting Thursday morning at 8 in the Little Theater. All involved need to attend. Get your teams ready for the intramural volleyball season. Captains, sign up your team in the attendance office by Wednesday. All games will be played at 7.15 in the main gym. See Mr. Olakovich if you have any questions. All girls planning on playing basketball this year, please sign up in the athletic office this week. See Mr. Becker if you have any questions. That's sports. Back to you, Zoe. Thanks. In news from the counselors, a recruiter from ROTC will be in the lower commons during all three lunch periods tomorrow. A representative from Wartburg College will be in the counseling office tomorrow at 1230. Would you like to make more than $100,000 per year? Are you good at visualizing objects in your head? Think about becoming an architect. Come and listen to an architect speak tomorrow morning at 8 in room I-015. Sign up in the counseling office window. Attention Tri students, Lynn Grove, Echo Hill, and Westfield are all looking for tutors and mentors. To do this, you must have a study hall or free period. If you are interested, see Kevin McCauley. 
Job shadow applications are due to the counseling office by Friday. Any 10th, 11th, or 12th grader can do a job shadow. If you did not get an application in homeroom, you may pick one up in the counseling office. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Jared takes a look at your arts and crafts. Thanks, Zoe. On the Lindmark Club scene, Model UN will meet tonight at 6.30 in Mr. Garrell's room. Spectrum will meet after school today in room F-152. All are welcome. The math team practices will be held Tuesday and Thursday after school in room F-157. Also, there will be a brief meeting Thursday after school for anyone who signed up for the trip to Spain this summer. The meeting will be held in Senora Lofton's room, H224. There are still openings for the trip available. See Senora Lofton for details. The Linmar Young Democrats are holding a voter registration drive before school through Wednesday in the Four Corners today. This is a nonpartisan event, and everyone who is able to register is encouraged to do so. We are just two days away from the first meeting of the Granola Heads of America. Join them and find out what a granola head is. Wednesday morning at 8 in Mr. Hoffman's room, I-217. Imagine will present a night of safety one week from tonight on Monday, September 29th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. They will be learning self-defense from local Taekwondo instructors. The event is open to all women. Bring a friend. The National Honor Society will have an important meeting Wednesday at 8 in the Little Theater. See Mr. Becker if you have any questions. All FFA members participating in the District Soils Contest Thursday at Kirkwood must turn in an activity form to Ms. Lemmer as soon as possible. Oh, what's that, Zoe? Oh. This just in. Auditions for the fall play, You Can't Take It With You, are tomorrow after school in the auditorium. That's your club update. Zoe, back to you. Thanks, Jared. Today on Channel One, take a look at the seven, uh, seventy billion dollar bailout of the financial institutions by the federal government. They explain why it happened and why the government has decided to step in. Today at three on LMTV. Now, Corbin has a look at today's lunch. Thanks, Zoe. It's beef nachos with carrots, pear slices. The other line will offer Subway sandwiches, chef salad, pizza, or a la carte items. That's lunch. Back to you, Zoe. Thank you. You know, it is the first day of fall, and LMT le weatherman Alex Starr says the first day of fall will be a fine one. His LMTV forecast calls for sunny skies tomorrow with a high of 77. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 60, and tomorrow, sunny with a high of 78. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember... LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Let's make it a great day.